I'm Steve for This Week With Cars, and according to your comments, today is a day that you have all been waiting for. Today, I'm finally going to clean off the MGA. It runs and drives now, so it'll be easy to move it out. It is winter here right now, so it will be pretty cold while I'm out there power washing off the car, but we'll get it all cleaned up and take a look at what it looks like. Before I get water anywhere near this car, I need to clean it up get all this stuff vacuumed up because after it gets wet it's gonna make just a big mess i'm going to pick up all these loose parts put them in a plastic bag and then get this all vacuumed out okay i've got all the parts cleaned up got a pretty big haul of fines here i'm gonna put them in the trunk just in case i need any of this stuff Let's take a quick look around the car. It is very cold out here, so I would like to get back inside. But I think it came out pretty nice. That is a decent looking MGA there now. Once the interior is cleaned up, at least now it's a little bit wet. Wipe those down with a towel when I get it back inside. Just look at that. I think this car did have a fresh paint job on it. So I think my original suspicions about this car, that it was painted, the guy was in the process of putting it back together and never put it back together. Now I'm the one that gets to enjoy having a very nice looking MGA. I really think this turned out great. The car is looking awesome already. And look who showed up when they found out that I had some chrome that needed cleaned up. What are you using over there to clean up the chrome? I am using an SOS soap pad and glass cleaner with a microfiber cloth. Is it working pretty well? Yeah, actually pretty quick. Well, get to it then. <laughs> All right. The interior has been wet and I've wiped it down. It looks a lot better than it did, but it still doesn't look great. My favorite product to use is VRT from Adams Polishes. Vinyl rubber and trim is what VRT stands for. Just apply this. It doesn't leave any greasy feeling to it. Just cleans things up, makes it look a whole lot better. And hopefully we can pull a lot of the dirt out of it as well. That looks a lot better. I like to use VRT on the tires as well. 
I don't like the wet look that some people do. The When you buy a tire, that's the way that the tire is supposed to be. The tires don't come to you looking like they're soaking wet. So we want to give the tire a natural look, but right now we need to clean the dirt that's off of it. And that's what the VRT is going to let us do. When I'm using the VRT, I like to use one of these sponges. It seems to get into the tire real well, and it's pretty durable. And I think it's a lot faster and easier to use than a towel. I'm going to let this dry now and it's kind of cold in here today so it may take a little bit and once this is dried up this won't give that high gloss wet look to the tire it should be more of a natural and clean look these front parking lamps don't look terrible but underneath the lens you can see everything is all corroded even if i did put the two bulbs in here they may not work for long so I have a complete brand new unit that I'm going to install here instead. And when I get to the process of making sure that everything is working on the car, this is going to alleviate a lot of headaches. Now I have to go under the bonnet to disconnect these wires from the wire coupling. If we look under the bonnet in front of the radiator and behind the grill. This wiring right here is a wiring that goes to the parking lamp. I can just pull these wires out, slip the new wiring through the grommets, and then push the bullet connectors into the couplings. Now before I connect up my wiring, I want to slip my wires through these two grommets and push them onto the back of the bulbs to make them weather tight. And then I can hook the wiring back up to the wire harness. I think replacing these were well worth the hassle. It will give me a lot less hassle down the road and I will always have my original lenses just in case I would ever want to put them back on the car. The MJA is really coming along now. Cassie did a great job cleaning up that chrome. The tires cleaned up great. You'll never be able to get all of the staining from the bird droppings off the paint, but even at this distance, it looks very nice. The interior will have to be redone at some point. There are a couple holes in it, but it looks respectable for now. Now that the car is all cleaned up, I can't wait to get this car out and drive it. Well, that was another successful day with my MG MGA. Now that we have everything there and the car is drivable, at least around a parking lot, now comes what I'm not gonna call the hard part, let's call it the fiddly bit, and probably the most time consuming part, and that's getting everything on the car to work with each other and work properly. So if you wanna see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe. Yeah.